All right, we're recording right now. All right, great. Uh, let me just turn my camera around so you guys can see what's on my desk. Here we go. All right, here's the uh, fourth grade uh, workbook. Uh, last class, what we worked on was one point perspective. So we worked on this page right here. All right. So next page is we're going to talk about the artist statement page right here. So this is going to be a fun project because it's more freelance, meaning you get to do more of what you want to do. And I have three options for you guys, and I'll show you guys what the three options are momentarily. Let's just go over this page real quick and what it's about. So artist statement. Artist statement is it's important to be able to write an artist statement about your own work. An artist statement tells people who look at your art how you feel about it and what you want them to know. So basically, if you've ever been to a museum or a gallery, you'll normally see like a plaque or like a little index card of some sort uh, near the bottom corners of those artworks. And it kind of tells you a couple things about it, such as like the title of the work, when it was made, uh, what materials they use, and basically uh, more information about the artwork. That's basically what an artist statement is. So if you look down below, there's a couple questions that will be stated to you once you're done doing whatever art project you do today. So the questions are the title of art. So you'd write that down here what you use to make the art. So maybe you'd write down pencil, crayon, or marker. You'd write that down on this next blank. The next one, I created a blank. So basically what the subject matter of your drawing is. So if it's an animal, then you'd write down what animal it is. If it's a type of food, you would write down which type of food it is. And then next one, it says, I used these elements and principles in making my art. So basically if you flip to the front of your packet, um, you remember when we went over the elements of art? So it's basically asking you which ones do you use? Did you use color? Did you use space? Did you use value? Did you use line? You'd write that down on these couple blanks right here. Next one, it says, my artwork makes me feel blank. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's just talking about emotions. And last blank, I also want to share blank. So basically anything else that the top doesn't go over can go down here, such as what the artwork is about. So if I turn the page over, I have the three options for you guys, and you will have a blank sheet of paper right behind the uh, one point perspective worksheet. So this is a blank sheet of paper you guys can use, or you can use a separate piece of this blank paper if you guys would like. And this is your options for you guys to do right now. Your options are, number one, you could draw your favorite activity. Number two, you could draw your favorite food or objects. And option number three, is free choice. I want you guys to pick one of the three options and you're gonna draw either on a blank sheet of paper. What are we doing? Or, I'm sorry, I couldn't really hear you too much. You can't hear me at all? No, I, I can hear you. I, um, it's just a little glitchy right now for me. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so basically on a blank sheet of paper, do one of these three activities, okay? And then once you're done, you're gonna fill out this artist statement. So what I'm gonna do right now. I don't have a, um, I just have like, it's just blank on the back, but there's a, a separate piece of paper right next to it. Yep, I'm about to talk about that right now. So if you don't have uh, the workbook, all you're gonna do is draw one of the three options right here. And then once in a couple minutes, I'm gonna turn this over so you guys can see what the requirements are for the artist statement, okay? So let me just leave this up for now, for a couple of minutes, and then I'll flip it over momentarily, okay? So why don't you guys get started with that, okay? So either do a favorite activity, their food, or free choice, okay? You guys have quite a while. You guys have, I'll tell you what, I'll give you guys like eight minutes. And then in about two minutes, I'll flip this over so people can start looking at the artist statement. If you don't finish your picture, it's okay, because I understand that class is only 15 minutes long, if not less. That's fine. As long as you guys understand what an artist statement is, that's the point of this. All right, I'll let you guys get working.
If you finish early, you could just like hang out. All right, now that you guys know what the options are, you guys probably should have an idea of what you're doing. I'm gonna flip this over. That way people that don't have this packet can see what kind of questions you could be putting on the back of your paper. So those questions could be title of the art, what you used to make your art, what did you make, stuff like that. So I'll leave this up for people that don't have the packet so you can see what people are writing about their art. And then at the very end, we will have time to share. Okay, a couple more minutes left. If you're done, just hang out. Because I know there's, if you just look at your screen, you can see how many people are still working. All right, um, I think now's a good time to switch over to Sharon now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my camera around so you guys can see me, and then we'll take some volunteers, uh, people that would like to share. So just raise your hand. Uh, we will momentarily figure out who's raising their hand and then they could share. Uh, Grace, go ahead. Um, mine is a baseball. I didn't quite finish it, but I think it still kind of looks like a baseball. Cool. Or, all right, I'm going to go with Kellen. Go ahead. Uh, I made a tree with birds on it. Oh, my gosh. You had all that time to do that? Wow, that's crazy. That's a lot of work. Okay, uh, Trevor, go ahead. Okay, so... I created it about a month ago. Okay. But it's a giant painting of my egg. That's really big. Nice. Good job. That's really cool. Good job. All right, I want to pick uh, Kira. Go ahead. Um, I made a a poodle. Good job. Nice. Um, again, if you want to share other stuff not related to this project as well, you can. If you want to go again, too, you can, too. All right, Sri Asya, go ahead. Um, I created this, like, a couple minutes ago, actually. All right, I'd like to see it. The American flag. Oh, good job. All right, anyone else would like to share? We have a couple more minutes left still. Uh, Kellen, did you want to share something else again? Uh, yeah, I have projects from the videos. Um, so yesterday I drew this with, uh, well, it's like basically a huge tow truck. And I also made this army tank thing, and then I did the app thing. Oh, cool. Wow, you did a lot of the projects. Cool. All right, hey. Anyone else want to go? Zuleika, go ahead. So I made this like when I was like six or seven years old. Okay. Cool. All right, we have time. 
more time than I thought we did. Anyone else want to share? Sanaya, go ahead. I made this um this um last weekend when I went with my grandma. Oh, nice, pretty, good job. All right, we're gonna keep going. This is fun. Brennan, go ahead. So there's this game I play called Brawl Stars, and I drew these two characters. Neat, sweet deal. Good job. All right. Um, I saw in chat. Uh, hold on. Caitlin, go ahead. Um, this is what I just made because I just started playing softball. So this is me hitting the bat, and it was me playing soccer in in spring. Oh, cool! Nice job. All right. Uh. Hold on. Uh, Charlie, go ahead. I know I've seen a couple hands from you. So, this is sort of related of, of the fourth and fifth video that you did yesterday. Okay, so, remember the Among Us app you did? Yeah. I made one of the Among Us kills. I made someone watching, and I made someone about to hit the emergency meeting. Okay. And I cool. also did shading. All right, cool. All right, well, that said, if you have anything else to share, please hold up to the camera when your mic comes off. And then I will dismiss you in a couple of minutes. So you guys want to hold up your artwork? For anyone else that want to show anyone else anything else, hold it to the camera now so people can see. Daddy, look what I made. Yeah, hold it up. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving you guys an opportunity now before I gotta get going. This is me playing soccer in this thing, and this is me playing this. All right. Uh, well, that's a good job. I'm gonna stop my recording. I'm gonna send a picture to mommy. <laughs>